Okay, guys, we're back at that location. We're back at the location where the White Soper Springs used to be in 1847. I mean, uh, we were here last weekend, and we I think we came across the hot spot. It was just towards the end of the day, so we're on a basically start up where we left off. And over where that big tree was, I'm gonna grid that whole, I'm gonna grid the whole thing. Then more or less, we'll probably start working down the hill. But I found out more information. I'll put more information down in the description, but I'm pretty sure those graves back there were from the prison. Cause I guess the prison was here a lot longer than what I thought it was. And it was actually the first women's prison in the state of Ohio. So the prison was here like in the mid 1800s after the civil war. But I didn't know that the first time, but I have some more information. But I'll put links to information that I run across so you guys can, if you're on your laptop, you can read the same stuff that I'm reading. That's how I come across this stuff. But I came across this, this location a long time ago. I actually read it in a book, and I was here, I don't know, it had to be, it might not have been 10 years ago, but it's been a while. And everywhere the fire station is, I actually metal detect that. Um, there's like a playground area or a park up there I, I don't know what it is i don't know if it's just a park or maybe it's part of the fire station and there's another big park behind it but i knew about this location i just couldn't metal detect it because it was a prison and at the time um i'm pretty sure it was closed but they hadn't tore anything down well now that they tore it down everything down they planted a bunch of flowers in here and people have just been showing up here like it's a it's a park or something so basically that's why i started metal detecting it so and i'll probably be doing a lot of it here because i don't know what they're gonna do with this property so i think where that graveyard back here was they went back here and they found that because i talked to a lady while i was here the last time and she said her husband worked here before they closed it down and they didn't know it was a graveyard back here so more or less that graveyard was probably overgrown and they were probably in here checking out the area and then they came across that because graveyards are a you know a problem for them especially if they're on a build like a housing development because you know i don't know what they're gonna do with it but it but anytime they run across a graveyard it becomes a big problem for the developers because they can't really do anything with it unless they come up with something and they i don't know who makes the decisions on moving graveyards but i'm positive that graveyard was basically inmates that was here but they're probably you know you know women were different back in the 1800s i mean they probably didn't do as long time as men plus you know they weren't here a long time so that's probably why there wasn't too many because i don't know how many graves are back there but there really wasn't that many of them back there but i mean eventually we'll probably end up back in that area anyways because this is a huge place and i'm going to be coming here a lot because i want to do as much as i can before it gets to where i can't come here and i don't have any idea what they're doing i just know down the road they're developing a lot and it's possible they'll come in here but since i come onto this hot spot by this big tree i'm going to try to focus on ground that is up at that level you know what i mean because it's a huge area i mean so i'm trying to focus on places i was here the last time i went around the back and i didn't find anything but i'm going to focus today on gridding this area with a tree but i'm going to kind of figure out a, a area to do you know like the the higher elevated areas is what i'm going to do i might want to do the whole thing because it's too much and you know i'm going to basically when i find a spot like this i'm going to hit the spots that i think i can find old stuff at first then i can always come back here because i can come back here anytime, if i can come back here anytime i want then i can come back here and do all the rest of it you know what i mean so it's better to focus on the areas that would have you know a bigger yeah there'd be stuff there you know i mean just focus on the high ground big trees and it just like it goes down like a hill like rolling hills down through here so i'll kind of show you you know where we're going to be and i'll show you i hopefully you can see down through there because it's a ways down there so basically we'll grid this then we'll go start heading to, down the road and see what happens but this is the big tree so you can kind of see how it's you know down through here it's lower so i mean that's where i parked at over here and there's a tree here there's a couple trees over there but i kind of swung through i didn't grit it or anything and i didn't even i didn't get anything but this is where i started finding stuff but you can see how it's elevated so what i'm going to do i don't know exactly i'll probably do the highest elevated area so i'll probably start like probably about right in here then i'll just go this way because i can't grit at angles i just can't do it i don't know i don't know if it's because i'm old or what but i'll probably start where that other tree is and i'll just grid this whole area and hopefully we'll come across if we can get that done and we still have plenty of time 
then I'll start searching down the road. Because there's a couple areas where it's up like this, and there's a couple huge trees, but there's no tree like this one. I mean, this is the biggest tree. I mean, I didn't see any tree like this. This thing is monster. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell on a video how big this tree is, but trust me, this is a, this is a huge tree. I mean, it's, uh, it's a monster. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is like a huge tree. So we'll grid this area. Then if we have time, we'll start going down there. And I'm still going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to focus on the higher elevated areas. Because, I mean, it's just like a, a rolling hill down through there. But there is a couple, not old trees like this, but there are some old trees. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as we go onto a good signal. Okay, guys, we ain't been here like two minutes. So I actually, I dug one hole and there was just a regular memorial penny. And now I got silver. And you can see how it's dark. At first, I didn't know what it was because it's kind of dark. But the reason that is is because it's been in the ground for so long because it's actually a barber dime. So it's a 1907 barber dime. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. But it's this is what I was talking about because it's not real shiny, but it's just been in the ground. And plus a lot of the ground over here, I've been finding like black, like burnt stuff. So I don't know if that's where they burnt down the old buildings or what. But this is a killer find. This is the second hole that I've dug. And I don't know. I haven't checked to see if there was any more in here. And it was a good signal. It, it was a banging signal too. And it wasn't even that far down in the ground. And of course, we're using my lucky pinpointer. At least I, we ain't gonna be using it or something. It's it's pretty well whacked now. That's why I quit using it because it was acting up. But I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So guys, I'll get back. It looks like we're gonna have a good day though. <laughs> I'll have to go back to the truck and get a different pinpointer, but I think it's gonna be a killer day. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto another good signal. Okay guys, I'm onto another one. So it's coming in at 1244. Uh, it's about nine inches in the ground. I've dug some other, I haven't dug any coins. I've been digging a lot of bottle caps, like old, you know, like not old bottle caps, but stuff from like the 70s. And so, like I said, I just know this was where they all took their lunch. I mean, they've been taking lunches here for over 100 years because of this big tree. So I don't know if there's picnic tables in here. So it's obviously in that big plug. Let's start hacking away. Oh, looky there. <laughs> you can see, but I don't know. That's green, but I can't tell if it's old. Now, that's just a modern memorial. Yeah, it was green for some reason. I thought it was gonna be a, at least a wheat. It's kind of weird it came in that high too. it guys well like i said i'm trying to get it to where you guys see the live digs that's why i haven't been digging a lot because some of it's been pop caps but as soon as i come on to another good one i'll get back to you guys okay guys i'm gonna do another good signal trying to get one because i've dug a couple wheat pennies 
And mostly I just been digging like stuff like I've dug a couple hot wheel cars, a part of a cap gun. I think I've got like two or three weedies, at least two. I've just been digging a lot of holes. I've been digging almost every real good signal. So hopefully, and I just dug a wheat like about two foot from here. So we got another wheat or silver. It's just a modern <laughs> memorial penny. Ain't that some shit? That thing way down in there. Yeah, I was hoping that was on to be a silver. But I'll leave the camera on for a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. See, this ain't a very good signal, but I'm just so curious because I'm finding old stuff is I'm just curious of what it is. That's mostly why I'm digging a lot of holes. Plus, if I get all the garbage out of here, maybe it'll free up some good stuff. But usually even the bottle caps, they're big bottle caps from those big bottles. But I'm just, like I said, most of it's just curiosity. I want to see what's in here. See, this is a coin. Just a memorial. But like I said, I can guarantee this is where they all had lunch, though. I know that. It looks like there's another big tree over here. But like I said, we're going to be here for a while because this is a lot to do. <laughs> I've been at it for a little while. I think that getting that silver right off at the beginning gave me bad luck. Like I said, we're coming right up on that tree. But we got this side to do. I more or less did this, but I'm gonna go over it again. I mean, we'll probably, like I said, we'll probably be here all day just in this spot. Unless I get tired of digging stuff. Cause I'm just so curious to see what it is. I mean, that's a shit signal, but let's see what it is. It's probably a piece of aluminum or something, but. Now it's worse than what it was. What it is, it's the bottom part of a light bulb, like a one of them heavy duty light bulbs. But that's what that is. It's like the whole thing. Well, we won't be digging any more of those.
I've been digging all these heavy signals like this because yeah that's more or less a silver but uh I've been digging a lot of these big bottle caps I don't know if you guys remember they used to have these big bottles back when I was a kid and you could turn them in and get like 25 cents out of it, and that's the bottles I'm the caps I'm digging See, it's just a memorial penny. <coughs> That's a nail. So it's probably like a combination of that nail and that memorial that was giving it that goofy sound. Well, like I said, you don't know unless you dig it. I mean, I could go through here and look for all the high tones, but it's I've been finding old stuff, you know what I mean? That's why I've been digging it. <laughs> another one it's not a great signal plus i'm gonna go back over it after i pull all this stuff out of here i'm gonna go back over it again This is way down in there, too. Huh. It's a piece of a chain. So it's a big piece of chain. But that'll definitely mask some signals. Well guys, I'll get back to you as soon as I get onto another good one. Okay guys, I'm onto a signal. But I've been at it for a while guys. I've dug about everything you can think of out of this place. And I just didn't want to give up on this tree because they were saying they're gonna turn it into a water treatment center. So I've been at it. I found a, I haven't found a lot of old coins. I found that silver. Plus I found a a foreign coin from like 1891. But I found everything else, man. You guys will see in the wrap out, wrap, the wrap out, <laughs> wrap up. I it, I'm just wore out, man. I've been at it all day. And I'm going around this tree again. And if I just get a little signal, I don't know where that signal went. Unless it fell down in there. Well, I've been digging some real deep holes. Because if I just get a slight signal, I'm digging it. But I found a lot of cool stuff. I don't know where that signal went. Huh. There's no way I messed that for. This looks like some kind of wiring thing, but I found everything. If you name it, I found it today. I found some cool. I did find another one of those clock winding keys, but I've had. I found some cool stuff too.
But it was just weird on the one side I wasn't getting anything. And I did walk down the street a little bit because I took a little break from this. Then I, I didn't find anything. I just come back. Well, like I said, sometimes that happens. You find that silver right off, man. It brings you bad luck. But I don't think I've had bad luck because you guys will see in the wrap-up. I found all kinds of stuff. Okay, guys, we're on the call today. But we've been at it for a long time. So we've basically been here for about seven hours. And I didn't want to give up around that tree. So when I first got here, I dug a memorial penny. Then I found this barber. So I found a 1907 barber dime. Then after that, it kind of just went dead. Then um, I dug everything. I had a lot. Like I said, I dug a couple of cars. I dug some old stuff here, like a harmonica reed, a doorknob. And this looks like some kind of thing off a cabinet. I found an old pocket knife, a cap gun, and this looks like a hem weight. I don't know how old it is. Then, like all the trash, I'll take pictures so you guys can see all the stuff we found. But like I said, we came on, we did find silver. Then I come on to this other stuff. I think I found more than three wheat pennies. I think they're just in the pouch. I found a, like a commemorative token, George Washington commemorative token, but it's aluminum. I ended up finding this 1891 coin, and it's a foreign coin. On the back of it says, um, North British Borneo and I don't know what the actually I mean if you see the back of this when I seen the back of it I thought it was a two cent is what I thought it was but it's a I mean it's an old coin so it's from 1891 then we also found another one of the clock winding keys so that was pretty cool but like I said I'll take pictures of all this so you guys can see because we dug a ton of trash and I was digging all kinds of these pop caps i mean we just dug a lot of trash i mean because i did i just didn't want to give up and a lot of those signals that well you guys will see it in the video i was digging like like foot over a foot into the ground finding some of it and that's how i come across this old foreign corn it was probably way over a foot in the ground and it was just a sight a real slight reading and i just dug way down in the ground and found it and like i said i think this barber dime was the, the bad luck because a lot of times when you find silver like when you first come onto a place it just dies after that but i don't i think we had a good day because we found a lot of variety of stuff it's just we i couldn't get on any more silver and i tried i mean i pounded i bet you i dug at least 200 holes it's hard to tell how many holes i dug but i tried everything and i ended up walking down that way there's a couple big trees down there but i couldn't find anything i all was digging like cans and stuff like that there's a couple other old trees over here and um there they didn't mow the grass so i couldn't get in there with a the detector so i don't know what we're going to do because i guess they had an article in the dispatch yesterday and a lot of people were telling i didn't get to read it people was telling me about it and i think they're going to turn this into a water treatment plant and so i don't know how long it's going to be to where you can't come here but it's we have a lot of more area to search but like I said, it took us forever to find a spot. That's why I didn't want to give up on it today. I just wanted to keep going. And I was hoping to come across more silver, but I didn't. And um, so I don't know if we'll come back here next weekend or we'll just give it a break for a little while. We'll probably give it a break. Then I'll have to rethink how I want to go around fight to try to, because it took us forever. It took us all day to find that spot and um, see how we're going to do it. But we'll definitely be back here because I know eventually you ain't going to be allowed in here. And all the a lot of people have been showing up today but back here all these flowers it, it was like free it froze last night so it's like all the blooms are gone now so that must have been like a one you know like a seasonal thing but i don't know like i said last weekend when we were here there was a lot of those flowers still there and um but we'll definitely be back i even tried over here where these big trees are and i couldn't find anything but i think we were luck we lucked out and found that hot spot and i think a lot of this stuff this might date back to that resort because this is copper and it's a doorknob and you know it used to be a prison i don't see why they would have a doorknob that small but 
I'll let you guys go. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye. One evening as the sun went down, the jungle fires were burning. Down the track came a hobo hummer. He said, boys, I'm not returning. Headed for a land that's far away, beside the crystal fountain. I see you all this coming fall at the Big Rock Candy Mountain. In the Big Rock Candy Mountain, there's a land that's fair and bright, where the handouts grow on bushes and sleep out every night where the boxcars all are empty and the sun shines every day oh the birds the bees and the cigarette trees the whiskey springs and the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountain in the big rock candy mountain all the cops have a wooden legs and the bulldogs all have rubber teeth And the hens lay soft-boiled eggs And the farmer's trees are full of fruit And the barns are full of hay I'm bound to go where there ain't no snow Where the sleet don't fall and the wind don't blow In the big rock candy mountain Big Rock Candy Mountain You never change your socks And the little streams of 